What's up, everybody? I'm Logan Alec. I'm a CPA bringing you the most up-to-date stimulus news as it happens. And stimulus news is certainly happening right now because the IRS just dropped its long-awaited portal. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. But first of all, who is this portal for? Okay, This portal is for people who do not have a filing requirement and have not filed a tax return for 2018 and or 2019. All right. So if you have a filing requirement, to file your tax returns. If you don't have a filing requirement, you can file a simple tax return, right? Like I walked through on TurboTax over the weekend, or you can use this IRS portal. Who is this portal also for? This portal is also for SSI and Veterans Benefits recipients, okay? Similar story. You could have filed a tax return through TurboTax Stimulus Edition over the weekend. I did a, I did a walkthrough on it. You can still do that. You can still watch that. Or you can use this uh, IRS portal, okay? Third group, okay, those on Social Security, SSDI, or Railroad Retirement. Now, these folks do not need to do anything to get their 1200 all right? So if all you're expecting is the 1200 you don't need to do this. However, if you, want to, if you need to report a dependent child under the age of 17 to get the additional $500 per child, you can do this, okay? Or you could file the, the TurboTax thing over the weekend. All right, so I hope that's clear. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will be sticking around for an hour after I drop this um, to answer your questions. I will also be releasing a stimulus update video later today, but because this was so urgent, I just wanted, I wanted to just jump in and do this. All right, let's jump into the portal right now. Let's make me small. So this is the URL up here. I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's rather long, but uh, I will put the link in the description. Okay, so here's what you gotta do. You can read all this if you want to, but where you got to go is right here. Non-filers enter payment info here. All right. Now, why is it so huge? Okay. So you can read all this. Uh, now, the one confusing thing here is that it says, do not continue if you receive Social Security, Relative Retirement, or SSDI benefits. The IRS will automatically send you an economic impact payment. True for the 1200 Okay. Now, the IRS's announcement about this they said that uh, these groups can use this, okay, to report a dependent child or dependent children under the age of 17 to get the extra 500 each, all right? Now, what do you need to fill this out? So you'll need to know basic information about yourself, your name, your address, email, social security number, um, your dependents, right? If you're reporting a dependent child under the age of 17, you're obviously their name, their social. Um, if, you, uh, if you received a PIN number from the IRS, they mailed you uh, something in the mail and said, this is your PIN. Uh, you will need that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that doesn't apply to you. Okay. All right. Let's 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 get started here. Going to press this blue Get Started button. You're going to have to create an account. Now, mind you, all right, so you're taken to this odd-looking website, freefillableforms.com, right? But this is a trustworthy website. It's an official IRS free file provider, okay? We were just on the IRS website. We click here. Takes you here. Don't worry. The IRS is not trying to trick you. Okay, this is this is legit. Um, then click get started. You got to create an account. All right. So you need your email address. Uh, please don't email me questions. Leave them in the comments in the next hour. Okay. Uh, money done right. You don't need to put your phone number. Okay. This is just like if you forget your password or something, they can verify you with your phone number. So I'm not going to put one in. You can though. It's it's recommended. Um, you know, just in case you forget your password, remember, this is something the IRS.gov is doing. They're not going to sell your information to scammers, right? All right. So I'm not going to do that. You can do that. If you so choose, create a password. Ah, it wants a symbol. Okay. Uh, it doesn't match. Remember me. Yes. All right. Create the account. Save. All right, so it says, thank you for training account. A confirmation email has been sent to the address you provided. Okay, so let's look for that. I'm in my inbox here. Here it is, okay? It's from, it says non-filers. Okay, your non-filers enter payment info. All right, so thank you for signing up to use non-filers enter payment info. Okay, so you're gonna click here, hit confirm my account's email address. You have to confirm your email address in order to file, okay? So you're gonna get this thing. It says email address verified. Click continue. All right, guess we gotta get started again. Okay, then you're gonna click sign in. 
okay, with your with the username and password you created. Sign in. And here we go. All right. You'll notice this looks a lot like a tax return, doesn't it? Let me make it, make it bigger for you in the back. Okay. So, yeah, because, you know, the IRS, what are they like? They like tax returns. They like things that look like tax returns. They like tax returns. So they want to make it easy for themselves because they know how to process tax returns, right? So, okay, filing status, single or married. Put married. That's my name. This is not my social security number, so yeah, you are an idiot if you think this is a real social security number and try to scam me. All right, home address. Uh, this is my business address. Okay, it's on my website. Don't, you know, don't think you're getting secret information here. Foreign country, I assume you're not in a foreign country. Now, look, if someone can claim you as a dependent, you or your spouse, you need to click this box. Okay, and obviously, um, adults, if you can claim as dependent, you don't qualify for a stimulus. Now, so what, why would you do this? Well, maybe your spouse can be claimed as dependent, but you you aren't, so you're eligible. So you would, uh, you know, you would still be able to get the 1200 right? So, but uh, in our case, no, nope, neither one's a dependent. Now you're going to put your dependents down here. I'm going to put my son's name. Son. Okay. Um, if you have more than four dependents, you can check this box and add them here. It will take you to another screen to add more dependents. I assume most of you don't have more than four dependents, so I'm not going to go through that. Now, banking information. This is for the direct deposit. Okay, routing number. Make sure you check checking your savings over here. Account number. Okay. As we know, providing the IRS with direct deposit information can expedite your economic impact payment. Okay, if you don't have a bank account, the IRS will issue a check. Identity protection pin. This is what I was talking about. So if the IRS mailed you an identity protection pin to prevent fraud in the mail, you would put it here. Six-digit number. Uh, mo vast majority of you probably don't have one. Okay, so you don't have to put anything here. But if you did get one in the mail, you're going to have to put it here. All right. Step two. Okay, this is for verification. This can be a little confusing because it says you must enter your 2018 adjusted gross income or your 2018 five-digit self-selected signature PIN. Now, I assume that most of you watching this did not file a tax return in 2018. Okay. So in this case, if you didn't file a tax return last year, enter zero. Okay. And that I assume is most of you. Okay. If you did file 2018 tax return, where would you find your AGI? You look on your 2018 1040. Okay. You go to page two. You look right here on line seven, adjusted gross income. All right. And you didn't put the number here on line seven. Okay, where are we? We're here. But again, I assume that this doesn't apply to the vast majority of you folks um, because I, I assume you're here because you haven't filed a tax return in a while. Or you can input your PIN from your 2018 return, right? Or if you, if you remember it um, when you e-filed, or you can just put your AGI. All right, that's only if you filed 2018 return. If you didn't file 2018 tax return, put zero. All right, now this is your electronic signature. Okay, so today is the 10th of April, cell phone number, fake again. You can choose any numbers here. Don't make them obvious, okay? Don't make, like it says, don't use 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to make mine blah, 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 random. But, you know, write this down, remember this. Date of birth. Fake date of birth, by the way. All right, if you have a driver's license, input it here. This E right here, this is for your driver's license number, okay? Okay, for you and your spouse. Okay, this is you, this is your spouse. Got to put your state. Now, this is where your driver's license was issued, okay? Or when it was issued. You and your spouse, it won't necessarily be the same. Right, because obviously you have different driver licenses. It probably isn't the same. Expiration date, you know, whenever that is. That's information you can find on your driver's license. All right, so filing status emails will be sent to the email you provided. Okay, 
Now, verification requires some of your filing and your email address is verified. Remember, we went to our email address, right? And we clicked this button at first to confirm our email address. That's you, you had to take that step before filing. All right. Um, if you haven't verified your email address, you can go here. But if you follow the steps, you've already done it. Now, continue to e-file this blue button. All right. So this is to make sure you're not a robot, right? So DACBW. Submit. Okay, now you have to check this box here, okay? It says, you're just saying you're not lying on this thing, right? Under penalties of perjury, I declare that I examined this return. Um, it's an actual tax return, right? Including any accompanying statements and schedules and to the best of my knowledge and belief, it is true, correct, and complete, okay? Check this box and hit transmit my return. I'm not gonna do this, right? Because obviously I use, uh, fake socials and fake everything on this, all right? But this is what you have to do. You have to click this checkbox, hit transmit my return, okay? I'm not actually doing it, but I wanna hear from you. What happens after this? Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. I am sticking around for an hour. I hope this was super helpful to you. Please remember to like and subscribe for more stimulus updates, all right? And I'll see you later today when I drop my um, uh, stimulus update video. All right, bye-bye.